there are so many companies that are failing their innovation. And I found 10 mistakes that companies make and even large companies make when innovating. The first three have to do with the process they use. The new offers are based only on internal technical know-how or skills. They make minor changes to a product or service and then expect the customer to pay more. But if the customer doesn't see an improvement, they aren't going to pay more, are they? And then the third is that the innovative products and services um, are like those that are already being sold. So they're more what I would call renovations than true innovations. So those are the first three mistakes that companies can make when they're innovating. The next group of four topics around the people, because people are involved in innovation, of course. Some companies organize an innovation team and sometimes they even house them somewhere outside the company so they can be freer and more creative, supposedly. They never share ideas with those outside of the innovation team. So everybody else in the company feels a little bit excluded and they have no way of sharing good ideas. And they then don't let people outside the core business to look or suggest innovation. And they only move forward with innovation when everybody's in agreement. So there are a lot of people issues associated with innovations and might explain why innovations can be unsuccessful. And the third large group have to do with the actual planning process itself. Either new products are never tested on social media or with customers themselves, it's a very well tested and long time used process that nobody wants to change for developing concepts. And we'll talk about that as well in a moment. And innovation takes time, but companies are only thinking a little bit ahead for the next six to 12 months in most cases. But innovation takes time. They need to be thinking years and usually I suggest five to 10 years down the road. Now I know it's impossible to know what's gonna happen even two years from now, the world is changing so fast, but it's important that we prepare for possible changes to our organization.